Welcome back friends and I have not done a makeup look in a long time. I am getting ready for church and so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick makeup look. Um, I already put on my primer and I use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. If you don't know, I am oily so that is why I use that. Um, I also, my everyday routine, go in with a loose powder. Any loose or pressed powder you want to use. Um, sometimes I use the, um, I lost the top, but the Rimmel, the Rimmel um, matte powder. So any powder you want to use, any powder you want to use if you're super oily. I go to extremes, especially since we're in the summertime. Um, I go to extremes to make sure my makeup lasts all day. One of my favorite brushes, this is a flat top brush that I love. It is clean. Actually smells like vinegar. I just cleaned them with brush cleaner and vinegar and water yesterday. And it still has a little bit of the vinegar smell. I do vinegar and Dawn. Um, I also have a brush cleaner. I'm using this Becca that I just took out of the box. Amber. So I got to pump it a few times. But I don't want to squirt it on myself because I already have my church shirt on. There it goes. So, um, somebody was using the vinegar. I always use Dawn and I always use, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a white bar of soap. I think it's supposed to be a laundry soap. Um, you can get it from Walmart and stuff. I can't think of the name of it, but I'll put it down below. That soap usually gets my, like all the makeup out of my brushes. But yesterday I was watching people's YouTube videos and this girl used vinegar and Dawn and I did it, but I, they didn't get as clean as they normally get when I do my, um, my soap and Dawn. So I don't know about the vinegar. And then it, I use white vinegar, like she said, and they're my brushes, so I don't mind, but I still smell a little bit of the smell. So I don't know if the vinegar solution is going to be for me. And I'm going to try to do a quick makeup look because I don't want to hold you guys like forever and ever. And I just, if you see what I'm doing, I just continually press the makeup into my face. That's just something I do. Once I put it on, I press it into my face. I also take a beauty blender and I take more powder and I press it into my face. Like, yes, before concealer, before highlight, before anything, I press it into my face. I just do that to press the foundation in and really get the foundation in. I let that sit for a while while I do my eyebrows. Eyebrows. Eyeshadow. Y'all know my eyebrows is tattooed, honey. That saves me about five minutes on any makeup routine. Best tattoo I ever got. I'm gonna look in my mirror over here. I don't do the crazy eyeshadow looks. Um, I have not perfected the crazy eyeshadow looks. I basically do a, um, and maybe one day I really get into the eyeshadow looks, but I've been watching videos. They're very time consuming. Um, they require a lot. And they require a lot of patience, which is something that I'm working on on my end. Because you see me, I'm, I'm just, I just want to go in with a look and keep it moving. So, maybe one day I'll get into the eyeshadow looks. And that's why I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes and stuff. And I don't like my eyeshadow way up to my eyebrows. I don't, to each his own, I don't like it. For me. I'm going to get... Where's my glitter? You guys know I do my glitter. Just drop that in the sink. My glitter color, and this is just a chrome glitter by Essence. You can get this from Ulta. It's not packaged very well, breaks apart really good, but they're really, really cheap. And the glitter is bomb. You see that? The glitter is bomb. So while it's not packaged well and breaks apart, um, it's easier to work with than loose glitter. And if you're someone like me that likes to have the glitter every day, this is a very cheap solution for you. It's easier to work with than the loose glitter because it's pressed glitter. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like under $5. 
for the Essence um, Chrome Glitters from Ulta. You probably can go to Essence.com too. Um, but I get mine from Ulta. And do you see that? Especially on women of color. I have a hard time um, finding good glitter shades that show up on us women of color. Like you'll see, like on Instagram, I see a lot of people posting glitter looks. But then when I purchase it, it doesn't show up on me. It doesn't show up on me like that. So you have to be careful with that because Instagram will have you buying everything you see. Somebody will post a makeup look. You'll be buying everything you see. And I did that one time and I had to end up getting rid of a lot of stuff. And this is the e.l.f. highlighter. I had to end up getting rid of a lot of stuff because I was buying stuff based on pictures I saw on Instagram. And then I get it home and it doesn't, it doesn't look like that on me, you know, and you have to be careful with that. Even lip colors, our lips are pigmented. So when you see somebody with a lip color on that you like, you have to be careful because when you get the lip color home, it may be a different color on you than it was on them. So you have to be careful with that because I bought a lot of lipsticks and had to return them or get rid of them because I liked them on somebody else, but when I got them home, I didn't like them on me. So that essence glitter shows up on us. Awesome like, and I'm just doing, I don't like a boom under eye highlight. I just like a subtle under eye highlight. Plus I'm going to church. I ain't trying to go looking in there looking like a Jezebel, but I do want my face to be nice subtle and beat so i'm just pressing this powder into my concealer and i'm not using banana powder because i don't want it to pop like that i'm um, just using a little uh, um what powder am i using today black opal loose deluxe powder and just in natural light number six just using that for that and for my contour I'm using a Wet n Wild bronzer in What Shady Beaches. Um, I use a bronzer for my contour. I haven't found a cream contour I like. I'm looking for a cream contour. If anybody has any suggestions, I want to try the NARS cream contour. But for some reason, when I do my cream contour, all the cream contours that I've tried so far, they um, move my makeup. They, they're evidently, they could be water-based. The base could not be a green with the foundation that I'm using. But when I do a cream contour, it, um, <clears throat> I can't even explain it. I showed it to my daughter one day. It gets blotchy. It gets blotchy like the contour is taken away from the foundation and I can't fix it. I can't. So I've gotten away from the cream contours. I just do a light powder. Hopefully you can see a contour. And then I blend my entire face in together. So if you have a suggestion for a cream contour that you want me to use, let me know and I'll try it. But I haven't found one yet. They all seem to move my makeup around. Is that? No, I'll take it out of here. I was gonna use that little miniature Charlotte Tilbury powder, but it's so darn small I can't find it. <laughs> Y'all, it's so small I can't find it. So, I need to find it and put it where I can see it. But I am going to use the MAC Pro Longwear. I want to put that Charlotte Miniature Powder under my eye. But I promise y'all, the thing is so darn small, I don't know where it's at. Oh my God, I'm not going to waste the video trying to find it. I'm going to put MAC Middle Lodge Skin Finish in Medium Dark. I just bought Dark. Because I feel like medium dark is a little bit light. Even though once it oxidizes, it blends very well. I want to make sure I get that contour blend in. I don't like the harsh lines of the contour. And this is just the way I do it. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup artist on myself. I know what I like. So if you don't do your makeup this way, or if you have another way of doing it, by all means... I'm not telling you to do it my way. I just came to share a video with you guys because it's been a while. Make sure I get my neck area. And I just don't like any harsh lines. So that is good. 
I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. And sometimes I use this as an eyeshadow too. I think it shows up really well as an eyeshadow. This is what I can I cannot master a highlight, y'all, but we're going to try it. I cannot master a highlight. Here we go. I cannot master a highlight. I don't know why. Did I get it, y'all? Did I get it? Come on now, y'all. Tell me something now. Can't master it. I feel like either I do too much or I put it in the wrong spot. All right, now, y'all, I'm going to church, so don't be, uh, let me walk out the house looking any kind of way. Um, my little mold there gets covered up by foundation, so I usually take a waterproof. I take a waterproof liquid liner that I know won't move throughout the day, and I put my mold back. And run a little bit of water with a Q-tip to get these eyebrows popping. Because they're tattooed, and I'm telling y'all, it's the best tattoo ever. The best. Why do people text when you record in a video? Anybody know? Like, seriously. Seriously. I'm recording a video. They either call or text. Seriously. You know what I need to do? And I never think about it till afterwards. Put my phone on do not disturb when I'm recording. That's what I need to do. That way it won't interrupt the video at all. Because it's like they know when you're recording. So right now I'm just... Getting these eyebrows snatched. Take your bra. Yes, that's what I'm doing. And last but not least, I'm trying to use up this spray because I don't really care for it. Um, which one is this? Peach? The Gerard Cosmetics. I like the original. Don't get me wrong. I like the original. But this is very, very strong. And I think this is, it is, peach. This is the peach spray. Very strong. Very strong. The smell, peach. And I've been using it for a long time. And I have to wait before I open my eyes. It goes up my nose. It smells good. But it is very strong. So I'm trying to use it up. But for the Gerard Cosmetics sprays, just get the originals. Unless you like that really, really strong smell. It's very, very, very strong. Oh, very strong. So I'm trying to use that up. This is the makeup look. I'm going to put my lace front on. My lips on, so the picture you saw in the thumbnail will be the finished look of this. This is just my basic makeup look that I do like for church or when I'm going out. Hopefully, and my face is still wet from the spray. I'm going to let that dry while I finish getting dressed. And they still texting me. Who does that when I'm trying to talk to my friends? Disrespectful. Majorly disrespectful. But this is the look, sorry I'm in the bathroom and I'm trying to get the light to where you guys can see it. Hopefully you can. But like I said, the picture in the thumbnail will be a regular picture, no filters, no Snapchat filters of uh, me when I put my lace front on and my regular look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done um, a makeup video or a makeup look, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or want to know anything, I will answer them down below. The negativity is not welcome, but thank you for clicking because I still get the points. Have a good day.